Welcome back to Take Me to the Rivers YouTube channel. Come often, tell your friends, please subscribe. We have two iconic New Orleans musicians that will be performing for you tonight. John Cleary and Charlie Gabriel, live from Preservation Hall. The first one we're gonna play is a little thing I just wrote called, uh, I can look at the menu, but that don't mean I got to eat. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Welcome to Take Me to the River, a movement of social consciousness, and with us today are two of New Orleans' finest and legendary musicians. Charlie Gabriel, welcome. Thank you. And John Cleary, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen, what is Preservation Hall, the, the vibe, everything that it stands for? When you, when you come in here, and I'll start with you, Charlie, and get to you, mm. John. What are the feeling that you get when you come into Prez Hall? Well, it's, it's the feeling I get when I come to Preservation Hall, because I have heard all the older musicians like George Lord and T-Bar and, and Jim, Jim, uh, Jim Robinson and Kids Sheet and Kids Thomas and all those musicians. I mean, I come in, I can feel their spirit in the music when mm -hmm. I come in here. Yes, yes. It's still in here. That's one of the greatest feelings I can have when I come to the Preservation Hall, because I can visualize some of these musicians because I have seen them play as a child, you know? Because I was playing at 11 years old with them, see, so I was very fortunate 
to know them from a musician point of view, and I learned so much from them. So back then, Charlie, when you would come in here as an 11-year-old, how, how did, how, what, what did it, it feel like? It wasn't here when I was yeah, 11 that, that, years old. It didn't start until about the 60s, but I was playing music here in New Orleans with 11 year old with these old musicians. Right. I was with, playing with the Rico Jazz Band. Really? Wow. At 11, with T. Bar Renee in that band, Kid Shot Shed Clayton was in that band. Then I played with Kid Howard a lot. Oh, I was Kid Sheik too. Oh, Kid, Kid Sheik, Kid Howard, you know, Jim Robinson, wow. you know, uh, the funeral with them. See, I was, the war was going on, and I was here playing music, and all the older musicians at that age of the fight the war was gone. So <clears throat> when they called my dad, hey Manny, we got a job for you. They know I can't take you, but you can take the kid. I could read good, but I couldn't play out of my head. So they had no other choice but to use me. <laughs> oh, John. Now, now just to be clear, that's World War II we're talking about. <laughs> oh man, they had no choice but you. So I was very fortunate to be be born at that time. See, I was I was I was about eleven years old. I'm eighty eight now. You know, I'll be eighty nine next month. So uh, so I <laughs> He was stuck with the kid. <laughs> I bet they didn't regret it, though. I bet you played it. They, they played taught me so much, John. Oh, they man. taught me so That's much. That's how you learn. It's from yeah, the older generation. I was mingling with the older musicians. Yeah. That's an early age in life, and they would do things and show me things. You know, I remember one incident. I was playing with the Rico Jet and Georgia Lewis playing E flat clarinet, and I was playing E flat clarinet. My dad got me on E flat clarinet because I want you to be heard, boys. You know, I want you be heard on that effect clarinet, so I'm just playing to draw a little bit of the show me a couple of my dad I say, no, 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 don't show him nothing. I want to play like a man so you can pay him like a man. How yeah. lucky to have yeah. that tradition passed yeah. on to you by those cats, because they're yeah. the cats that invented that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm the full generation of, of the Gabriel. My yeah. great great grandfather was a uh, cornetist that came in from Singer Domingos, and really? yeah, that's where my family originally from. And, and came and moved to New Orleans. My dad was born in New Orleans here, oh, and wow. I'm born in New Orleans here. So, so four generations of musicians. Yeah. I'm probably even going back even Oh, further. we got about six generations of musicians yeah. in my family. Oh, I got nieces and nephews. Yeah. And I got one niece is a director of a gospel choir in, uh, at the church, and I wrote a lot of music for that. And I got my little little nephew. We got a brass band in Detroit called the Gabriel Brass Band. <laughs> ah, his right. name is Damon Gabriel, man. We, we actually can't get rid of us. <laughs> well, I wish I could hear your family band. Yeah, they but can't get rid of us, boy. Boy. So we're gonna play an old Percy Mayfield tune, huh, Charlie? Okay. This one's called "Send Me Someone to Love." Send me someone to love. From back in the day, and it's kind of appropriate for the times. <laughs> Thank you. 
If it ain't asking too much, 